So for a long time, I've been requested to make a room tour. And I want to make a room tour. I've already done one, which is really out of date because my room is not the same anymore. But I don't want to do one until I paint my room. Because after I paint my room, my room's going to get all changed around. I'm getting my TV taken out. Thank goodness. I hate having a TV in here. Um, and things will just be a lot different. So I don't want to do a room tour until I'm done that. And that might not be until spring. So it might be a while. So to give you a little taste of what my room looks like, I decided that I would do a makeup collection and storage video like my friend Billy B 55 um, I'll link her videos um, down below. She has two parts, and I don't know how long mine will be, but... We'll see. This is my lip drawer with like colored stuff. I don't know, like that actually has color to it. Um, I want more lipsticks, but there's only so much you can use at a time. So I guess I'll just start with lip glosses, which I'm not a huge fan of. Just saying. But yeah. I've got a MAC Luster Glass in Morning Glory, which it's really pretty purple silver color. Um, I've got my MAC Luster Glass in, in sign. Um, these three, uh, Poetic License, which is like a nude matte color, or no sparkle, it's got like no shimmer in it. A lip glass in Cruise Control, which is like very shimmery and pretty. And, um, L, which is got, it's white with like pink undertones, which is gorgeous. And then I have... Uh, this is a CoverGirl Wet Slicks Amazement in 645 Slap Happy. It's actually really pretty, and the reason I got this is because it smells like mint, and I like that, and it just, it's, it feels nice on your lips. Oh, I have this MAC one, this Dazzle Glass Cream in Perfectly Unordinary, the most gorgeous pink ever. I love it, but I never wear it. Um... This is Outlast Lip Stain from CoverGirl in 430. It's just a felt. Here goes my lipsticks. I have Rimmel in New Delight. It's like that. Um, Urban Decay Love Child, which I've been loving recently. And it has the Urban Decay thing on it. I don't know if you can see. You can't, but you know how it is. Um, Urban Decay Naked. Nude color. Um, then I've got like tons and tons of Clinique ones, which I despise except for one. One of them I really like. I've got Clinique Berry Freeze. This is the one that I've actually bought. The other ones I've received. This is a beautiful red color. It's perfect for my skin, and I love this red. Maybe I'll wear it in my next video. So you guys can see it. The next ones, I've got a different grape. I've got two of those. I don't know why. I just, two uh, different grapes. Um, Rose Spectrum, which is just the ugliest color in the world. I think I used it for a costume or something. This is the new High Impact Mascara in Extreme Pink. It's just ugly. It's like not even, it's like a, you know like your aunt with like the mustache that was what she would wear this is a Lancome color design in oh my shimmer oh I've got this mm, very sexy sweet nothing lipstick from Victoria's Secret it's just a pretty nude got that from a friend and um this is a Rimmel lipstick in pink blush looks like that it's a dupe to the Viva Glam Gaga lipstick um I've got my three MAC lipsticks that I love, and then I have um, Cream Cup as well, which I don't know where that is, though. So, uh, Chatterbox, which is an amplified cream. My least used lipstick, but I still love the bright pink. This is my most used, obviously, you can see. And this is limited edition, and I blanked on that while I use it up all summer long, and I have none left. So, this is Lazy Day by MAC um, from the To The Beach collection. Loved this packaging. So I got two things from that collection. And Love Lorne, which is just the most gorgeous, um, perfect pink for my skin as well. And this one's permanent in line, so we're looking for a nice pink. If you think that's it for lip products, you would be wrong. I also have this whole thing with lip balms and jellies and stuff like that, so I will go through that now very fast because I already have 17 minutes going on this video. So I've got a 
uh, tube of Carmex as well as the little, uh, I don't know what you call this, I guess it would be a jar. I've got my EOS lip balm in lemon drop, lemon drop, just like that. Smells amazing, tastes really nice as well. Lip Sill, which is a beeswax based lip balm, which I really, really like. Kind of different than your regular lip balm. I've got the Coconut Lip Butter from the Body Shop, which is that. I've got the DCT Blistex, which is daily conditioning treatment, as well as the Lip Medics one. I've got my favorite lip balm from CO Bigelow. I've got the Lip Formula 15 from CO Bigelow. Uh, Ultra Protection by Blistex. Complete Moisture by Blistex. Labello by Nivea. Uh, Blistex Silk and Shine, which I loved, as you can tell. I have none left almost, which is so sad. And then I have some soft lips. I've, these are all vanilla. So, And then I have just my CO Bigelow collection. Uh, I have three of the Menthol Lip Shine Peppermint ones. And then I have the Spearmint one. One of the Spearmint ones. And I also have a Ultra Menthol Lip Shine, which is like Field Mint and stuff. So that is all my makeup. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, and um, yeah, so see you guys later. Bye.